to the music. Allah, yeah, there we go. Uh, alongside artist and songwriter Victoria Monet. Share a couple of words and insights as to what it is to be an independent artist. So we are going to have them come up. Without further ado, let's get to the stage. Here we go. How's everybody? We have some artists in the room. You can feel it. You can feel it. All right. So we're just going to do what artists do and we're going to improvise. And um, I think I'm just going to have Victoria share a little bit of how she started in the industry. Sure. I could do that. I would just like to know, though, if there's any artists or creators in the room. Can you raise your hand? Amazing, nice to see all of you. And we're um, going to make some time for some Q&A, for yes. sure. Yes, yeah. I have some questions ready. Um, so, a little bit about my start in the music industry. I started, I moved to LA um, from Sacramento, California about 10 years ago, um, next month. Um, needless to say, this is has been a long journey, like a really hard, determined, long journey. Um, but in the beginning, I started in a girl group under a super producer. Um, and because I loved art so much, I signed myself into a really bad contract because I wanted to be, you know, do the thing. I wanted to like be successful. I was hungry enough to like risk some of that that um, initial success. So I signed a bad contract. Um, and one of the reasons why I was able to sustain is because I was able to write songs and learn how to vocal produce. So I guess that ties back into being um, independent and just think, using some of your resources to buy you some time and, and um, make some other dreams come true. Um, eventually I was able to get out of that contract and then sign to a record label um, which was another situation that didn't go as planned. But in the interim, I was still writing songs, still vocal producing, um, still like pursuing artistry. And basically, what was able to really help me out was me being able to use some of the income that I made from, song, from songwriting and support myself as an artist. So then from being successful in the songwriting field, I was able to pay for things like my own music videos. If any of you from in the, who are in the tribe have seen the Ready music video, that was like my own money. I went on tour and opened for Fifth Harmony, my own money. I, I um, was able to open for Ariana Grande on her world tour. There was like, I don't know, 80 dates. And I was able to fund that. So like, I really tried to thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, She's I doing really hard. Can you tell us some of the songs you've written? Um, okay, so this has been, I'm very excited to say this has been a really successful year in songwriting. Um, so a few songs I've, I've been a part of this year have been Seven Rings, Ariana Grande, and Thank You Next. Um, at a point there was like, on the Hot 100 there was like eight songs in the top 20 from Ariana that I was a part of. Specifically for Ariana Grande's um, discography, there's 30 plus songs that I've written for and with her. Um, and then there's other artists that I've written for, uh, Chris Brown, uh, Janae Aiko, Fifth Harmony, um, and the list kind of goes on. Um, I've, I've used a lot of those relationships I was able to gain in the songwriting world to help me out in the artist world. So then I was able to get features with artists like T.I., Dr. Dre, Nas, B.O.B. Um, and it's just been a wonderful balance of, you know, pursuing multiple talents that God has given me um, and using them to benefit each other. And so I feel like that's some of the ways that you can really benefit from being an independent artist. And, you know, I think that if I were with, you know, a label who didn't understand what I wanted to do and how I, and I feel like I would have been stifled a little bit. And it's definitely been 10 years.